getting onto YouTube last night to check my accounts, and I had seen this advertisement here. The official Pink Friday fragrance commercial. Um, well, they got the whole Nicki Minaj being dressed up like a Barbie doll, and I thought it was um, something to do with Barbie or whatever. Um, Pink Friday, here we go, and for some reason this uh, falls on my mouse cursor. I see a bunch of this pink stuff, um, and in a way it almost cries sexism. Uh, the reason why, um, I don't know, I sound like, some, to some people I sound like a conspiracy theorist, like what Anita Sarkeesian is, um, that poop mouth bigot, uh, that that does the the feminist frequency uh, YouTube channel? Well, sh well, she, you know, uh, Anita Sarkeesian says that like basically absolutely everything in absolutely everything is sexism against women. But like, so y you're probably wondering why um, I'm claiming that that um. <clears throat> and seeing the color pink everywhere is sexist. Well, that's because I'm kind of trying to operate on some universal standard that was set forth by the feminists, since they're the ultimate authority in society on what is acceptable, it seems like. Um, well, so anyway... Kinda neat how it parallax scrolls. Um, so when anyway, I see all this, you know, the, these these uh, compact fluorescent light bulbs around, and other uh, light bulbs that are pink, and it's you know concerning breast cancer awareness, and Duras not Duracell, but uh, Energizer does the the I've seen them before. I've actually bought a pack um, of uh, pink colored batteries. Uh, and they donate money to the Su Susan G. Komen breast cancer, um, um, uh, you know, uh, breast cancer awareness foundation, that sort of thing. And it's it's kind of okay. It's great that people care and all that and want to fight cancer, and that, that's that's not the problem. The problem is that. People, society only seems to care about women. And that's what I see a lot of. I mean, when I go to visit my mom's house, you know, ever so often, I, I, I drive by a house that has a pink light out outside on the porch for breast cancer awareness. And, you know, I see these lights for, um, um, I see these lights that you could get at Walmart and other places and they're intentionally pink and it says for breast cancer awareness. Where are the light blue light, you know, the the, um, the sky blue or baby blue lights <clears throat> for um, prostate cancer awareness or testicular cancer awareness? I mean, my stepdad. Uh, just completed his radiation treatments for prostate cancer. Okay? Um, where is society and all their compassion for him? Um, no, oh, she's larger. Nicki Minaj is larger than life, standing on New York City. Mm hmm. Uh,. Oh, is she supposed to be the Statue of Liberty or something? I mean... Anyway... Um... Okay, campaign... Okay... Sign up... No... I don't want that... Oh, the site looks like it's well made, but... I I'm just tired of this stuff because it's just 
It just seems like Hey, what's up, guys? This is Justin Bieber here. If okay. you want the chance to meet me backstage at my show in Miami, enter Believe the Reading Sweepstakes and visit your Nook counter at your local Barnes & Noble. While you're there, check out my book, Just Getting Started, available on Nook HD or hardcover. Okay, a dude who is sexually objectified by not only girls his own age, but women who are old enough to be his mom. Uh, as I've seen in videos, and oh gosh, this connects into the Twilight Moms. <clears throat> and uh, oh, of course, oh, there's no harm in sexually objectifying a boy. See, is sexual objectification harmful? Or is it not? Um, it's only counted as harmful when it happens to women. Now what does that say about women? Are they weak and pathetic pieces of shit? Like they self-imply? You know, you hear all this strong independent bullshit whenever it's convenient. You know, whenever they need a dignity boost or whatever. <clears throat> but when shit hits the fan, when it comes down to it, they're just, they show how weak and pathetic they are. And how everything bothers them, and that sort of thing. You need to understand how female nature is. You will learn more about psychology. By and large, the male gender is expected to be strong and resilient and uh, resourceful. And that's why generally they are, because they are expected to. Women are allowed to be pathetic and useless and a drain and, I mean, and, and just simply aesthetic. And look at that. They have to be all extra good looking to basically even snag a guy in many regards. Why is that? Because so many women have nothing to offer. They don't. Are they going to surprise you with their brilliant and wonderful, <laughs> exciting personality that really doesn't exist because they're like... Well, what gets on my nerves about women is that they behave in so many ways in which they negatively stereotype men for, uh, for behaving. That's the problem. Um, and if they behaved in ways that were, you know, more consistent with what they expect out of people, then there wouldn't be a problem. Um, but, uh, so anyway, uh, um, yeah. And, um, I just woke up um, like 20 minutes ago or 30 minutes ago and I gotta get ready for work I just want to make this quick video uh, to really kind of show people you know these things and I mean, all I did I was just gonna log into YouTube and upload a video and now I ended up having to make a video for YouTube because I saw this Nicki Minaj advertisement and uh, whatever but anyway i need to uh i need to end this one so uh until next time enjoy